I lived right around the corner from Coltrane. Mm -hmm. And I used to go do, when I was going to school, the Drexler, I used to go and just sit out there and listen to him play, listen to him play, listen to him play. You know, he would play, play. Well, the neighborhood was great. It was right there in Fanmar Park. You know, so that was a place that I liked because I'm kind of, I was like, you know, I like to go and, you know, get away from the city. And it was this right is the house on 33rd Street? Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And, and so the park was right there in the reservoir. <laughs> and there was a reservoir there that had water in it, for, you know, for drinking water and things. And, uh, and, the, and the homes were beautiful. They were like kind of classic homes, you know. They had, some of them had columns <laughs> and balconies up top looking over the park. And the park was big, and I would get lost in the park. I remember when he first I uh, was going to California with, with uh, Jimmy Garrison, Elvin, and uh, himself, and uh, Jimmy, yeah. And uh, he said, and McCoy, and he said, and he was buying a car, and my mother had, had was, told me to take, you know, go with my father and, and, and go down to the car place, because he needed to get some work done on the car. And Train had just bought a car, and he was going to California. And, and that was the first time we really talked a little bit, you know. One thing I liked about Train, he never stopped practicing. He never stopped playing. He, he, he would just play, 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 play. After a while, you make up your own, you take these scales and you can turn them into infinity by, by creating different modes, harmonically and so forth. You know, you can, you can keep on playing because no note is wrong. You can't never play a wrong note. You just have to be conscious about what that note is in relationship to what is happening with the rest of the system, the okay. bass and drum, the piano, and so forth. You have to be conscious, it's a conscious thing. But that consciousness becomes to be something that's innate and automatic, it's, it's magic. That, that's why you practice your instrument. I never heard anybody say that they went over and sat outside his house and listened to him practice. Oh yeah, man. But to me, that was it. It was, it was what molded me. You know, before before train, I loved Bird. I loved Bird. And Bird yeah. was everything. He he made me wanted to be. Bird had this sophistication and this here uh, charisma about him. I mean, he was really. I mean, to me, Bird was my savior, because like, I wanted to be very intellectual, but not erudite. <laughs> and I had a tenor and a baritone and soprano and alto, but I never played them. You know, I just played the alto because that sounded like my voice. You know, it felt like me. It felt like the way my voice range was, and and, okay. and I liked the fleet of it. You know, mm. like Bird. The Bird to me was like, man, he. On Bird, Bird, Bird was one that really, and and I used to, when I started playing, just put on the records and try to catch him. <laughs> of course, I couldn't, and I didn't want to be like Bird. I didn't want to be like Train, but I wanted to have that spirit that they had, and to be able to uh, uh, be in the moment. Main thing is to practice a lot, and then learn how to facilitate uh, uh, the use of, of, of uh, like John, Train, John Coltrane played harmonics, which people downplay that, but that takes a lot of practice where you can go about certain levers. Because I, I, I think that music, when you're playing these here things, they're like sprockets. They're like, you know, stuff like that that's happening, springs and stuff. And uh, tension, it creates tension. Mm. Playing that way, like, so I have, I have developed stuff like, you know, different notes and different tones and wide open sound. And you can, you can play a lot. And it's amazing about how these harmonics can take you to different places, especially when you find that one. And when you find that one within yourself, then when you can bring that out and, and, and other people are going to feel it because that same one is the same. It doesn't make no difference about a nationality or how bright you are or nothing. It, it's about like that vibration becomes to be resonant, it's concordant, it's, it's, it's harmony. Harmony. That's the word that was trying to say. Harmony. Train said love of the universe. I say harmony within each other, and then it would be a different world. It would be a different world. Because music is for healing. It's really for healing. 
whether it's dance music, feel good, that's a different kind of music. That's the kind of music that we call reaction to, to motion and energy, and you want to express yourself. But jazz is more of an intellectual, it's not intellectual, it's intelligent music. <laughs> it's intelligent, it's intelligent. And, and people who play music, even though they might not be able to grade with alphabets, they become to be very intelligent. <laughs>